Well guys, anime. Today I'm back to talk about yet another social media internet thing called the main character syndrome that bewilders me. I had to even put on my black t-shirt, I'm in my villain mode today. Because I don't get how the main character syndrome is a syndrome. Why do you need a special thing for it? In two words, if it's not self-explanatory enough, the main character syndrome is when a person perceives themselves as the main character and they perceive their life as the movie or just as a storyline where they are the central character. Why that confuses me is that you might have noticed that there is a word syndrome in there, which implies that it is not within the norm. And that's what I want to talk about today. If it is a syndrome, let's just start off by saying, let's outline that I have it. And I don't get how you don't have it or how anybody can not have it. Because I've been living my life strictly through the first person view. The question is, who else would be the main character of this life to me? Because from my perspective, every single event that has ever happened in this world happened to me. And there is a very fine line, because honestly, I don't view other people as non-playable characters. I don't look at them as support characters who just live to serve the purpose of maintaining the matrix of my life or something. No, that's not the case. I allow them to be the main characters through their, like, eyes, you know what I'm saying? You could not convince me otherwise. As a matter of fact, I don't want to think otherwise. If there is delicious food somewhere in this world, why does it exist if not for me to have it? If there is a country that I want to visit, of course I'm going to visit. Why else does this country even exist? If there is the most beautiful girl walking this earth, of course she is my future wife. As a matter of fact, screw the wife. We are main characters. Of course she is part of my harem, bro. And you might think that I'm unrealistic. You might think that I'm delusional, that I'm stupid. No, as a matter of fact, I realized that these things, these thoughts are unrealistic, but I refuse to think otherwise. I'm not stupid. I'm the main character. My IQ is probably the highest this world has ever seen. <laughs> so with that main character syndrome thing, what you are telling me is that there are people who meet the girls of their dreams. And all they can think is, oh, I love her, but she will never be mine. <laughs> Why would I ever want to think that? Why would I ever want to feel like that? I've never felt like that. I don't know how it feels. All I have ever felt when I fell in love she minds, bro. If she's not mine now, she will be mine. If she's not mine in the future, she was a lesson for the character development. No cap. Like if I am Peter Parker and some Gwen Stacy chick breaks my heart, it is all just for me to then become a Spider-Man and go brazy with Mary Jane. No kizzy. Okay, and then Gwen Stacy, you come join too, twin. Huh? Gucci on my shirt. Gucci on my hose. Oh, all right, speaking of Spider-Man, let's go back to our childhoods. I want you to remember when you were a kid and watched some superhero movie. After you left the movie theater, did you not feel like the main character? Did you not feel like the Spider-Man, the Batman? Did you not feel like you were him? You were Himothy. <laughs> like Batman, that's me. Hulk, that's me. Thor, that's me too. I'm all of them. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to mention is that recently I watched Attack on Titan. And that was the only time where I didn't associate with the main character because Aaron Yeager is a hoe. So I associated with the Titans while watching it. Aaron Yeager, you a whole pussy. No cap. Mikasa should have been mine. Are you telling me you didn't leave the cinema web blazing going absolutely stupid? And I have these conversations with my friends sometimes when they ask me, how do you even dream so big? How do you set the goals so high with absolute confidence that it's going to be yours? Like it's do or die. And I told you, I'm not an idiot. I understand it's unrealistic, especially looking at my life right now where it's, let's be honest, pretty shit. Every hero needs the story of becoming. Every villain needs one too. I still haven't decided on which arc I want to go with. You know what I'm saying? I want to ask you, when you were a child, didn't you feel like the world is, was your sandbox? The world was... Uh, I don't mess with sandbox. Sandboxes are trash. Didn't you feel like the world was your playground? Like, I don't know about any single thing. I would see Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson. I would confuse the two all the time. But I would still think I'm the next up. No cap, no way around it. I just think with some people, life breaks them. <laughs> Being a superstar, being a superhero, being anything super, it's just not for me, it's for some better people. The dumbest thing, now from my end, as the person with this syndrome, is that my and this person's lives are very similar if you look at them from just outside. We both are working the same low-paying job, 
Just the difference is that this person has settled and uh, knows their limits. I don't know my limits. Sky is not the limit. Sky is just something that we are standing on. <laughs> and you might say that it's unhealthy, that I put unhealthy expectations on my life, on myself. But honestly, I feel like even on my deathbed, if I haven't reached all those crazy Brandon Frazy goals, I will just lie there and with my last breath, with my last thought, I will think, oh, okay, that means there is just another life ahead. I will be reborn and go crazy in that life. No, cheesy. Nah, twin, but for now the plan is to go berserk in this life, don't get me wrong. Throughout my whole life, different events happened that just backed up my belief that I am the main guy. And it might be for two reasons. Reason one being, I'm just really him. I'm the main guy. Or reason number two is that I just believe it so much that I make things happen. I have just gone ahead and visited the country I wanted to visit. Somehow, I have just gone ahead and somehow went out on a date with a girl that I wanted to date. Not every single time, not even many times, but just enough for me to maintain this belief in myself. Even now I find myself living in Thailand, the country that I had never even thought of visiting somehow. And some wild things happen to me out here. Some things that I have never experienced or never thought I would experience or never thought existed at all. And once again we are returning to the topic of perception because I don't know if my outlook of, on life is correct where I think it is a movie and I'm the main guy in it. But I also love people who think the same way. I also love people whose life is full of adventures, whose life is full of stories. And I actually have some friends who I look at and I know that they are going to kick this world's ass. Because they have this main character energy, because they just persevere, because they dream big, because they know their goals, they set them high and they are not afraid of going ahead and achieving them. I don't know, because they're just confident i guess and from where i'm standing i do kind of feel sorry for the people who don't have this wonderful syndrome but maybe it is incorrect because to me not having this syndrome equals settling and giving up on yourself deciding that there are people who are better than you bro every single person i see no i will not think they are better than me are you tripping bro i will i will also not think that they are worse than me i'm not a douchebag bro just as the person who i'm living as I choose to believe that I'm the best. Not at the expense of others, please wrap your mind around it. I love having friends who are the main characters in their lives and we just are cameos in each other's stories and make them more interesting, I hope. And before I finish, I just want to let you know that if you ever see the headline on the news saying that Spider-Man is real, he appeared out of nowhere in our real world, I want you to know it's me. If you ever see the headline saying aliens came and abducted some people, I want you to know I'm one of them. Also, I want you to know if there is somebody who destroyed the moon, it was also me. Or I am the one who stopped them. I told you, I haven't decided on the arc yet. I might take the villain route, I might take the hero route, I'm still on the crossroads. Well, I hope I was able to explain why I don't understand how the main character syndrome is even a thing. And I don't understand why there isn't a bot syndrome or an NPC syndrome or other people are so much better than me syndrome. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment what you think about it, subscribe to the channel. I would love to be the background character in your story where you are the main character and I will just provide you with some hopefully entertaining content. Totally fine with that role, my guy. So I will see you in another one. Toodles!